welcome back to another video. You join me today in the middle of the countryside with a little white fluffy audience today. Um, but if you remember, I said in a few videos ago that I will show Ryan's Mrs. Car. I'll insert the clip here. We will get your Mrs. Car on soon because again, another white car, another old car, and it's sick as well. Yeah. And uh, today we have that car on and uh, it is looking really, really shiny. Uh, so let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, here is the lovely Mark II Golf. Now, obviously, Ryan's missus is stood there. If you want to come in and introduce yourself and your lovely Mark II Golf. Hello, my name's Sophie, um, and this is Greta, the Mark II Golf, uh, who I love and is my pride and joy. It is very nice, and it does, it does show. Because it you. has just come out of the paint shop, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. So we got it back in January. So it was off the road for about six months or so. Yeah. Um, got her back in January all painted. And then Ryan and I actually put her all back together ourselves. Yeah. Which was very, very stressful. I do not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so project cars aren't relaxing at all. Absolutely not. No. no, absolutely not. Right, so what we'll do, we'll have a look around the car. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can talk us through everything that's been done and how you've done it. Sounds good. So this is your lovely, lovely Mark II Golf, and it is immaculate. Thank you. <laughs> so what have you done to it? So um, we have, so in the recent months, obviously when it was resprayed, we had Live Nine Lives Customs down in uh, Southampton, did all of the respraying. Um, they did the wide arches as well. So they were almost like custom made. Oh, and yeah. it actually took them two days per arch. And they to, are very wide as well, aren't they? Yeah, I love them. They're it like does look really Man mean style. on the road. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so these bits here are actually from my previous arches and what he did is I kind of like um, like plasti welded them or somehow yeah. kind of modded them to that actual arch so that, just to that make it bit fit. There. Yeah, yeah, and so that's... just this bit. So this bit came off my old ones and he's just modded them into the actual new uh, Vumaran style arch oh, okay. so that it's like, it kind of goes along the car with the trims. Yeah, but they do, look, they do look really nice and the fitment is very good as well. Yes. So yeah, you can see as well, like these windows are actually tinted, so they're the green tint. Um, because oh, right. we bought the doors um, when we were getting it all kind of sorted out. Um, we got the doors so that we could get some different windows because it's just nice a bit with a bit of tint on there. So it's yeah. um, so the green tint, um, which we, which me, uh, myself and Ryan put in um, ourselves. So yeah, once the kind of car was all back together in our in our driveway, it took us about maybe two months to just try put everything back together. So the dash, that's the not seats, too bad. Everything. <laughs> so you were done by sort of. March time. We were done the night before Ultimate Dubs. Yeah, what have we done? What have we got on the back? Exhaust? You've got a nice exhaust yep, on there as well, yep. which does sound really nice. It needs to be a little bit cleaner, to be honest. Get a nice shiny tip. <laughs> yeah, well, it was it was a bit dirty, a bit dirty, a bit dusty on the way up, wasn't it? Yeah. Fair. You can see one thing that we've done ourselves, which you can clearly see, is the uh, the boot kind of trim here. So that's unfortunately yeah. plastered away a little bit um, when we've been cleaning and also just driving away, it just peels off and flies away. So that will be sorted that's right. at some point. That's right. <laughs> it's, a, it's an ongoing thing, it's a project car. Yeah, no, it? absolutely. Just like kind of the black and white look as well, because we were almost tempted, well, I, I was almost tempted to maybe change the color of the car, but obviously keeping it as original as possible is, yeah, you know, you got your show points as well then, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, no, absolutely. And it just, black and white just looks really nice. I it think. does, it does. Do you know what wheels they are? Uh, yes, yeah, so they're uh, Rotor BM8s. They're 15, um, 15 inch. Um, I do need to sort out the center caps. Um, and I would also like to get some something bronze. I would like either them in bronze or we're actually talking about maybe getting these black bits turned into bronze as well. Oh, that might be Just quite nice. Just to make it look a little bit different. Yeah, because um, let's be honest, every single EG hatch has these. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
yeah, we had a lot of, um, when I was at Ultimate Dubs and uh, Tucked, we had a few people come over about the arches as well to say that it's not something they've seen on a, on a four door. Um, because yeah. they were actually, so these arches are actually made for a Mark II Golf, but a three door. Right. And because obviously with the, the doors as well, where the guy had to kind of really make sure that they were perfectly fit around the door. Oh yeah, um, I didn't notice that earlier. Just, just ever so slightly. Yeah, there's not a lot of clearance there, is there? Not a lot, no. <laughs> but he did, he, did his, he did his best and it's such a great job he's done. I can't he recommend that guy enough. It does. It, and it, yeah, to be fair, even like the, I know that some of the old plastic has sort of faded a bit. Yeah. But it's not, when it's like treated and stuff, no, won't absolutely. be far off the colour as well, actually. Yeah, so the rear bumper is actually um, a kind of new bumper I got from Dubstock and they actually retextured it. Um, right, so, to make it look like original. Yeah, so I need to do this with that one as well um, because, yeah, well, I've just at the moment, I'll be honest, I just kind of spray painted the white bits black <laughs> um, just to kind of get it through the shows almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's but, done well. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, at some point I'm going to um, get a new bumper and also have that either retextured or kind of as close to the back one as possible so yeah. it, looks, it looks the same. Oh, that's all right then. Right, I think we can all agree the, the uh, exterior is pretty mint, I'm not going to lie, and it looks beefy oh when you go like that that looks really good <laughs> so interior wise is it stock yeah, done yeah anything to absolutely it? um it's all standard the only the only little problem there is in it is there's a tiny little burn hole in the seat in the in the driver's seat that's the only problems we've oh, got from a cigarette i'm guessing yeah not from me i oh, bought the car like it i bought the car like it there's no smoking allowed in this car i tell you that <laughs> you have to tell ryan that yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so this is the interior um so you can tell that the glove box is also open. Um, that's because yeah. it's broken. <laughs> but the um, the good thing about that is that when I go to shows, um, I've made these little tape cassettes um, with the with some songs that were actually released in 1989, which is when the car was from. Right. Um, that's quite so, a good little idea. Yeah. So we've got things like we ride hot chili peppers, share. A Madonna song, as well as Pump Up the Jam. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So That's I just kind cool. of put them on show so that it doesn't actually make it look like the glove box is broken. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know what to say to that, but it is just a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, it's just unfortunately when we bought the dash because the old one had a crack in it. Um, but yeah, it just flops down. Oh, no. And we've also got some driving gloves as well, which we put up on the side because obviously it just kind of matches the blue interior of the car as yeah, well. It actually does. They do quite well. Steering wheel, I hate. I think it's ugly and I'd like a new one. <laughs> it, it's not too bad, oh, is it? it? Is. It's not one of the best ones they did. Um, you can upgrade it to a GTI one. Yeah, that would be nice. Anything different would just be a good thing. But like I said, I've just spent a fair amount on it. So any extras can wait a little while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as it looks you like... You save back up now. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, lo it looks nice and it drives well. So yeah. to me, that's all that matters. Now, I've just noticed a sticker on your car. Yes. And I believe you're a rep, aren't you? Yes, so I'm a rep for uh, Polish Pigs Detailing Experts. Um, I actually saw them at Ultimate Dubs this year and the logo just drew me to them because like I told you earlier, I love animals. Yeah. Um, and I love art as well. So this logo just really drew my attention. It's very like, it's out there, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so I went over and they were looking for ambassadors. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll sign up and see if they want my car to be kind of showing their product off. And, and I was chosen. <laughs> oh, so you might be able to get on their like stands in yeah i think so i think they're looking the at doing some they? things like that at future shows oh that's um, right then. Which, which would be cool they have like two or three cars yeah that, oh this cleaned my car and all this yeah sort no of stuff. absolutely yeah so oh, that'd be that'd be nice to see wouldn't it yeah so the reason that it's so pretty and shiny and i mean that i've got to say their tire balm works absolutely wonders yeah i see you put it on earlier and it looked like it, it's it's not shiny and it's really nice to like it looked really nice to sort of put on. Yeah, no, it was easy enough and it's, you know, it even smells good to be honest. But yeah, it actually, it really does wonders for the tyres and it lasts for ages. How long does it last? Oh my God, a couple of weeks. Really? Absolutely, yeah, a couple of weeks. I mean, I, I, to be fair, I don't drive it all the time because it's not my daily. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's on there for a good couple of weeks. I think we... Oh, that's all right. We, um, I washed it, I think, one weekend and then two weekends after, I'd already taken it out before then. I was driving, uh, going to be cleaning it, and I was like, I don't even need to do the tyres because they're still already. <laughs> yeah, brand just give new. them a blast yeah. off, brush off, done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right then. Well, so check I've, out Polish Pigs then, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I've got a uh, little rep code as well. So PP Rep Sophie um, is um, a code for ten percent off your first order with them. Okay. And uh, bring home the bacon bundle is the is the one to go for. <laughs> it's what, such a brilliant name. I love that it. That is. That is. <laughs> what, is that like? Um, 
you get like a load of different products and yeah, stuff like so that? Yeah, so you get to actually choose them yourself. So you can choose oh, what products okay. you want to be in the bundle. And it all um, costs just like, say, 60 quid or whatever it yeah, is. I think it's, yeah, I think it's about that. And then obviously less because you get the discount off as well. Oh, sweet. Even better. Yeah. Happy days. So absolutely check them out. Cool. Right. Shameless plug over. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look under the bonnet? Yeah. It's not the cleanest and it's not the most exciting to look at either. You can tell I've got some like red tape just so it doesn't mark the new kind of like oh, the, new, the new paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's not the cleanest under there. But no, yeah, it's all right. It's this all right. Is, this is the engine bay that's got so much room you could stand in it. <laughs> it is very big actually. Yeah. There's a lot of space in there. No, absolutely. So what, what sort of size engine is it then? So she's a 1.6. Um, she's got GTI cams. There's a Weber carb. Ooh. Um, and it was actually rebuilt about six years ago or so. Um, and so the car has done 104 to 106. I can't actually remember a thousand miles. Right. Um, so it's not too many. No, that's for the age of the car, that's really low miles. Yeah, but unsure about the engine, just because obviously it's been rebuilt. It wasn't done by us. Um, there's been a few owners since then as well. Yeah. So we haven't, um, haven't been able to speak to the kind of person that's done it for a very long time. But yeah. Tell you what though, it's clean, isn't it? Could be cleaner, but yeah. <laughs> like, no, like there's like no rust on the chassis rails or anything like that, and everything is and everything is there, isn't it? There's yeah. no like, it's a bit of like a snake snake mess, isn't it? But yeah, it's a bit like, like spaghetti like, junction. It, it is, it is. That's a better description actually. But, but no, it's nice under there. It's yeah. nice under there. You even still got. I've just noticed even one of the original Volkswagen clips down there. Yes. My uh, my boyfriend keeps telling me to put a um, a one eighty in it, or or at least just something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make it go a little bit faster, but all in due time. Yeah, I was gonna say it's money at the end of the day. Yeah, isn't no, it? absolutely. Just but spend no. a bomb on the actual outside and getting rid of the rust and new scuttle panels and everything. So the engine they can wait for a little while. Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, it is a uh, all in all, it's a very nice car, and. Um, Definitely, definitely, definitely show worthy, I think. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on and showing us your uh, your lovely Mark II Golf. That's all right. Thanks for having us. Did you want to remind everyone what your polished pig's code was? Uh, yeah, so it's PP Rep Sophie. There you and go. And you get 10% um, off your first order. So go ahead and check them out. There you go. And from what I've seen, the products are really good as well. So I would highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, thank you for bringing it on and um, hopefully see it at some shows in the future. No, absolutely. Because uh, I think it's definitely show worthy. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. If you want to bring your car on, drop me in a message on Instagram and um, I'll put Sophie's Instagram up there so you can check out the lovely golf all over Instagram and give her a follow. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video.